Thoroughbred Action is presented by Hardacre Farm. Welcome to Thoroughbred Action from Gulfstream Park West. I am Ron Nicoletti. It is Sunday, our closing day of this week. We're going to have 10 races to show you. Let's go to those track and weather conditions. The main track fast, the turf course firm. The first race, seven and a half furlongs on the turf course. These are made in claim as three-year-olds and upward. We'll have eight go to the post. Now settles and they're off at Gulfstream Park West. Broken a good line, Southern Cal has to be, but his rain back in. Here's Love You Lots to drop down from the outside. Congratulations, and the yellow cap will take second. Hey, Bub is at the rail in third. They're going to be three across the track into that first turn. Love You Lots is not able to cross over, now does, and Love You Lots into the first turn. Hey, Bub now takes second. Congratulations in third. Three lengths back to Southern Cal. Further back in the black silks, there's Nation USA. Inside of that runner looking over us outside GT's Grammy in the trailer. Never burn a copy as they move to the back stretch. Love you lots. Daryl Holland on the lead. Up by a length. Now call it two. Hey, bub. Comfortable in second. Congratulations in third. Southern Cal's in fourth. Nation USA, two wide. GT's Grammy is three wide. They chase those leaders. Two trailers looking over us and never burn a copy. Four furlongs left to go. It continues to be love you lots. Love you lots, showing the way, but here's Hey Bub, and Hey Bub comes to challenge, now within a neck of that leader. It's a gap of five, congratulations, just got passed by Nation USA, looking over us, gets a bit tight in there. GT's Grammy, Southern Cal, trying to run on, never burn a copy, still is the trailer. Quarter mile left to go. Love you lots to the inside of Hey Bub. These two are one, two, as they swing to the top of the stretch. Love you lots on the inside, Hey Bub on the outside. Who's running on from behind? Nation USA, looking over us, Southern Cal out wide. Hey Bub, but a tenacious. Love you lots down the inside. Hey, Bub trying to get there up on the outside with a 16th to go. It's love you lots and hey, Bub. Late run from Southern Cal up on the outside. Love you lots starts finding more and love you lots with a front running win. Hey, Bub for second. Looking over for third. Southern Cal finished fourth. Number eight, Love You Lots, uses its speed to win the open and pays a very nice $17.20 to win. Owned by Bruno Chicken Dance, trained by Yvonne Belsois, and ridden today by Daryl Holland. Second race, six furlong maiden claiming event for Phillies. Two-year-olds, scratch number three, Power Jack, the off-time favorite at one to two, is Marie Elena. And they're off. It was a slow start for Mrs. McGillicuddy. Fast start for Perspective Moment, and Perspective Moment out to the front. Maria Elena, right with that one. Favorites one, two. It's Perspective Moment up by a half length. Maria Elena is in second. Further back to Mystical Sky, being passed by Mrs. McGillicuddy and Elastica. Also in that mix is Mystical Sky, again, towards the back. Perspective Moment has the lead. Perspective Moment, now call it three quarters of a length. Maria Elena, not letting her get away. Maria Elena. Tight hold in second, moving up outside of that pace setter. Mrs. McGillicuddy starts to move up Mystical Sky, and the trailer is now Elastica. Prospective moment with the lead, now only by a head, Maria Elena. They've been 1-2 since they sprung the latch, and Maria Elena now puts a head in front. Prospective moment is being asked to keep up. Gap of six, back to Mrs. McGillicuddy, Mystical Sky, and Elastica still the trailer. Less than a quarter mile left to go. Maria Elena kicks for home, and Maria Elena is opening up. Perspective moment is back to second. Running on Elastica and Mrs. McGillicuddy. Mystical Sky is at the back, but with a furlong left to go, Maria Elena is far far ahead. She is running away in this two-year-old filly by High Cotton. Carlos Montalvo, it's Maria Elena to do it stylishly. Prospective moment will hang on for second. Elastica third, Mrs. McGillicuddy finished fourth. The favorite number five, Marie Elena, proves much the best in scores for Camille Crichton and Lorraine Wilson, trained by Rohan Crichton, and that horse pays $3 to win, ridden today by Carlos Montalvo. We'll take a short break. When we come back, we'll have race number three. The Pegasus World Cup Invitational is January 27th at Gulfstream Park, and that weekend we have something new, the Pegasus World Cup Betting Championship. I'm lucky to be joined enough by two guys who will be playing in this tournament, including... Ray Arsenal, defending NEC champion. And? Hi, Acacia. I'm Ross Gallo. I'm a 13-time NHC qualifier and also a member of the NTRA Players Committee. We're so excited for it. Join us here at Gulfstream Park. $500,000 expected pool. No entry fee if played on site. This is for the players.
Welcome back. We're on the turf for race number three. It's a claiming event for three-year-olds and upward, which have never won three races or three-year-olds. Jockey on the seven is Jesus Rio. Scratch the ten. Clearly a demon. And they're off. Mad Patriot has speed. So does Hope Town. Salutation in the mix. Now coming through on the inside is Giant's Voice. Nobody really wants the lead except Giant's Voice, who's trying to press on. Hope Town gets to that lead easier. Hope Town will now sit in second. Mass approval moves up on the outside in third. Going to be wide in the first turn is Sedula Ocho. Tightly at the rail in fifth is till the end. Outside of that, Mad Patriot. Towards the back is Albert Charles. Salutation and the trailer, Contramar. Giant's Voice got to the lead, and it's Giant's Voice up by three quarters of a length. Hope Town in second. Sedula Ocho continues to be wide in third. Till the end is moved up into fourth. Mass approval was with those leaders. Now dropped back to fifth, being passed by Albert Charles. Mad Patriot. In behind that, the two trailers, Contramar and Salutation. Half mile left to go. Giant's voice still with the lead. Up by a neck. Hope Town has been there all the way. Till the end. Progresses through the field. Now moves up into third. Passing Sedula Ocho, who's being scrubbed along, trying to move up from the fourth position. Early move here from Contramar. And Contramar has gotten into the action. Now three wide. And Contramar is coming after the leader, who's Giant's voice. Till the end is trying to come up in between runners. Also moving up is Albert Charles trying to run on Mad Patriot. Quarter mile left to go. Till the end has now confronted Giants voice Contramar with that early move up on the outside, but Till the end is kicked on a bit. Contramar is in second. Giants voice back to third. Albert Charles has also made up a lot of ground. It's Till the end with the lead. Contramar seeming to stall there in second. Mad Patriot and Albert Charles out wide. Till the end, he's a final 16th. Here's Albert Charles. Getting up on the outside, but not going to get there in time. It's till the end to win. Albert Charles for second. Tight photo for third. Mad Patriot inside of Contramar. And Giants Voice faded to fifth. Number one, till the end, gets bet down to the favorite and pays $8.80 to win. Owned by Long Trails Stables, LLC. Trained by one Andreas Rodriguez. And ridden to victory today by Luca Panici. The fourth race, five furlongs on the fast main track. These are claimers, three-year-olds and upward. No scratches in the race, the three to five favorite, number four, Social Roy. And they're off. Social Roy couldn't have broke better. Social Roy right out to the front, quickly up by a length. Panamex in tight, they're in second. Bocati's in a tight spot, now moving back as My Johnny Be Good now takes the second position away. It's Social Roy with the lead. My Johnny Be Good. Just a touch rank down the back stretch, but is in second. Panamax inside of Keep Me Grounded. They're third and fourth. Another two and a half back to Bocati. And Indiana Cowboy is the trailer. They move into the far turn. Social Roy has the lead. Strictly the one to catch is Social Roy still up by a length. Now call it two. Panamax moving up inside of My Johnny Be Good. Now to take second away. Keep Me Grounded is dropping back. Bocati trying to get going from fifth on the trailer. Indiana Cowboy, quarter mile left to go. It's still Social Roy, the one to catch, and Social Roy at the top of the lane has the lead. Panamex going to come up inside of that runner, going to make that runner work. Social Roy with the lead, Panamex in second. Indiana Cowboys also made up a lot of ground from the back. My Johnny Be Good trying to hang in there. Panamex now switches to the outside. Social Roy still needs to hang on for a final 16th. Here's Panamex grinding away, and Indiana Cowboy with the late run. Social Roy going to have to hold him off. It's Social Roy to win. Panamex for second, Indiana Co Cowboy for third keep me grounded finish fourth the favorite holds on to win it social roy number four pays three dollars and forty cents owned by araville racing llc trained by ralph zady and ridden to victory today by edgar zayas fifth race one mile on the turf these are maiden claimers three-year-olds and upward jockey change on the five make the rider raul mena And they're off. Bobby Red just got squeezed just a touch of the break. First degree burn has speed. So does Royalston, Freudian Fall. And the pink silks now moves up from the outside. It's going to be Freudian Fall and Royalston head and head for the lead. First degree burn backs off now in third. Rhythm of Simard in fourth. Ruckus is in fifth. Bobby Red is towards the back there in sixth. On the inside, go Harley, go Mr. Papillon. And King Morrow is the trailer. They move around that first turn. It's Royalston with the lead. Doesn't look to be going too fast. It's Royalston now up by a half length. Freudian Falls trying to move up. Ryder doesn't want to allow it in second. First degree burn. Comfortable in third. Rhythm of Simard moves up in fourth. Ruckus moving forward in fifth. Here comes Mr. Papillon outside of that rival. Bobby Red is now three wide. Takes seventh. King Morrow is out of last in the trailer. Go. Harley go. 
Half mile left to go. It's Royalston on the lead. Royalston now lets it out a notch. Is still only up by a half length. Freudian Falls been right there in second. First degree burn. It's going to need a way through. Now getting passed by Rhythm of Simard up on the outside. Now back to fourth is first degree burn. Mr. Papillon has lost a bit of ground. Here comes Ruckus. King Morrow is moving up. Bobby Red is now at the back being passed by Go, Harley Go. With a quarter mile left to go, Royalston trying to do it on the front end. Freudian fall in second. First degree burn waiting for the cue at the rail. First degree burn now tips off the rail and coming after the leader who's Royalston. Royalston with the lead. Here comes first degree burn. King Morrow. Also, Ruckus is moving through on the inside. Rhythm of Simart and Mr. Papillon is launching from the back. Royalston trying to do it on the front end and has a 16th to go. And Royalston is opening up. First degree burn is trying to get there up on the outside. But it's Royalston to win. First degree burn for second. Mr. Papillon for third. Scramble on for fourth between Ruckus, Rhythm of Simard, and King Morrow. Number seven, Royalston springs the upset and pays $22.40 to win. Owned by Barry Berkelhammer, ridden by Jose Batista, and trained by Teresa Terry Pompey. We'll take a short break. Be back for race six. Passion for horses and a commitment to breed champions is the foundation of Hardacre Farm. Founded in 1999 by Amy Tarrant, owner, breeder, and trainer, Hardacre Farm, now based in Ocala, continues its tradition of success. From the Breeders' Cup to Gulfstream Park, Hardacre Farm, from the breeding shed to the racetrack, in pursuit of producing the best. We have to take care of these horses that you know give us so much joy. Being accredited by the TAA gives us instant credibility. People trust us even more than they have before because they know that the TAA has been to all of our location and that our horses are well cared for. I mean, this farm wouldn't look the way it is. These horses wouldn't look the way they are if it wasn't for the generosity and the hard work of Thoroughbred Aftercare Alliance. They've united our whole industry in terms of the aftercare movement. We're all working together for the same purpose. Welcome back for our sixth race of the afternoon. It's a seven furlong sprint. These are claim as three-year-olds and upward, which have never won two races, or three-year-olds, the off-time favorite, number one, Brave Enrique. And they're off to an even break. In between runners, Polish Steel. Polish Steel has the lead, and here's Illustrious Sun up on the outside. Tell me a story, he's in third. Dizzy Gillespie is outside a three-star stone, is now taken fourth in the trailer, far back quickly to Brave Enrique, Polish Steel has the lead and it's Polish Steel. Gonna try and do it on the front end. Speeding up the back stretch and is up by two. Illustrious Sun in second, three star stone progresses, now moves through at the rail in third, tell me a story. Now takes that third position back. Moving up in between rivals is Dizzy Gillespie and still far back to the trailer, Brave Enrique. Four furlongs left to go. Polished Steel has the lead. Polished Steel going to try and hold them all off. Illustrious Sun is moving up from second. Three-star stone. Tight spot there at the rail is Tell Me a Story. Is now coming up four wide. And Tell Me a Story is coming after the leader, Polished Steel. Polished Steel confronted right now by Tell Me a Story up on the outside. Those two head and head with a quarter of a mile left to go. Illustrious Sun has got to get going from there. Also dropping back three-star stone, Dizzy Gillespie. And launching now from the back is Brave Enrique. Tell me a story at the top of the stretch has taken the lead. Polish Steel is back to second. Now rallying. Here comes three-star stone. Trying to move up in between runners, Illustrious Sun. And late run here from Brave Enrique. Tell me a story has a final 16th. And tell me a story is clear by four. It's going to be tell me a story to put them to bed in race six. Brave Enrique runs on for second. Three-star stone for third. Illustrious Sun finished fourth. Number six, tell me a story. Very nice in victory. Pays $8 even. Owned by Gary Barber. Trained by Mark Cassie. And ridden to victory today by MCL Jaramillo. The seventh race, one mile on the turf. These are maiden two-year-olds. Scratch the number 10 horse, the main track only. And they're off. Little toe breaks well. Animal Kingston down to the inside. Now takes second. Mayerhofen's in the mix. Also moving up Pony up. Outside of that is Silent Tiger. As they move on that leader, Little Toe tried to slow it down. Not going to be allowed to do that as Mayerhofen has moved up now too wide. 
It's going to challenge for the lead. Pony Up is going to be three wide into the first turn. Animal Kingston, good spot in fourth at the rail. Outside of that is Silent Tiger. Gets tight there for Irwin, who had to check off of heels, checked off of Rocky Strange. So they're towards the back, Oliver Cash. It's now moved past Irwin, who's now second to last in the trailer, Aguheto. Little Toe on the lead. It's Little Toe up by a neck. Right there in second, Mayerhofen. Animal Kingston, tracking trip in third, moves up inside a pony up. They now share third and fourth. Silent Tiger is trying to keep up. Rocky Strange is moving up from sixth. Out wider, Oliver Cash. Irwin is moving up. And the trailer, still Aguheto. Less than a half mile to go. It's Little Toe with the lead. Little Toe only by a head. Mayor Hoffman in second. Animal Kingston is moving through, waiting for the cue at the rail in third. Pony up, trying to keep that one hemmed in. Now moves up. Going to be three wide to challenge for the lead. Rocky Strange is going to try and follow that move. Also moving up, Irwin Aguheto is trying to move up from the back as they hit the top of the lane. Little Toe with the lead. Pony up is now extending that stride. Animal Kingston trying to get loose. And here comes Animal Kingston in between rivals. But Pony Up has gotten the jump. It's Pony Up, Little Toe, Animal Kingston trying to run on. Also, Rocky Strange is out wide. 16th to go. Pony Up is now extending the margin. And Pony Up looks to get the job done. Animal Kingston runs into second. Pony Up wins. Animal Kingston for second. Little Toe third. Rocky Strange for fourth. Then a photo between Aguheto and Irwin for fifth. Number three, Pony Up beats stablemate Animal Kingston and pays six dollars to win. Gives jockey Jose Batista his second victory today, owned by Calumet Farm and trained by Todd Pletcher. The eighth race is six furlong sprint. These are maiden claimers, two-year-olds. Nine runners will go to the post. And they're off. And it was a slow start for Two Joe. Fast start for Knucklehead. And Knucklehead from the outside, Ed Do Ed's dog also has speed. Moving up in third is ABG Guerrero. Storm protections at the rail in fourth. Further back to the real Ralph. C in the test barn is sixth to Joe. After breaking slowly, he's trying to move up through the field. Love Worship's Peace is at the back with Clemson and Watson. They move up the back stretch. Four furlongs left to go. Knucklehead has the lead. It's Knucklehead up by a half length. Ed's dog in second. Storm protections trying to get up with those runners. Was rained back just a touch as to Joe has made up a ton of ground. And to Joe is now going to be three wide in the third spot. ABG Guerrero now moves up outside of storm protection. C in the test barn is sixth. Moving up, Love Worship's Peace is towards the back with the real Ralph. And Clemson and Watson, less than a quarter mile to go. Three across the racetrack, Knucklehead on the inside. Ed's dog in between runners. Two Joe up on the outside. Anyone's race as they approach a furlong left to go. It's two Joe and Ed's dog up here on the outside. ABG Guerrero, see ya in the test barn is also closing ground. It's two Joe and Ed's dog. ABG Guerrero is trying to mow him down on the outside. It's still two Joe, two Joe up on the outside, two Joe with an impressive effort. Ed's dog for second. ABG Guerrero finished third. C in the test barn for fourth and storm protection. Finish fifth. Number four, two Joe scores from Monarch Stables Incorporated, trained by Ron Spatz and ridden today by apprentice Abby Medina. We're taking that short break. We come back for race nine. It'll be the first half of that late daily double. I'm Javier Castellano. I am Joel Rosario. I'm John Velasquez. For the first time ever, the Classical del Caribe will be at Gulfstream Park. Entertainment, special events, and the best horses from Latin America and the Caribbean. Right here in South Florida. Right here in South Florida. It's a thrilly, it's a popular, it's an international. The Classical del Caribe is coming to Gulfstream Park. The Classical del Caribe is coming to Gulfstream Park on December 9th. I'll be there. Will you? Crossing the finish line for the last time can mean an uncertain future for many horses. Recognizing the need for a dignified retirement, the racing industry has made racehorse aftercare a top priority. In partnership with Gulfstream Park and the Florida Horsemen's Association, Florida Track provides retraining and adoption services for retired racehorses. Thanks to their efforts, the end of a racing career can signal the beginning of a new career. In show jumping, trail riding, police work, even therapy for children and veterans. However, good intentions do not come without cost. As a nonprofit organization, 
Florida Track relies on tax-deductible donations and volunteers to help pay for feed, training, housing, and veterinary care. To find out how you can help, contact Florida Track today. Your support will go a long way towards a new beginning. Welcome back for our ninth race of the afternoon. It's a five furlong turf sprint allowance optional claimer for three year olds and upward scratch the number three infusion scratch the 10. Thanks God the 11 Quientos and number 12 storming my way. And they're off and successful native hopped in the air favorite at the back of the field. Moonwalker has the lead. It's Moonwalker with more royalty in second. Brilliant interest in third. Moving up is Apache Brave from fourth. Blackjack Baby sits in fifth, four lengths off that leader. Clift is moving up, now into sixth. Behind that, the gray, small fortune, and tall task ahead for successful native who's at the back of affairs. Into the far turn, it's Moonwalker, and Moonwalker has the lead up by two. More royalty moving into second, brilliant interest. Trying to get out a bit there on the turn, it's in third. Apache Brave is going to come up inside of that runner as they hit the top of the lane. It's Moonwalker going to have to hold off more royalty. Apache Brave running on, also making up some ground is Cliff. Blackjack Baby, brilliant interest. Moonwalker still with the lead. Moonwalker, here comes Apache Brave with the move in between rivals. And Apache Brave has Moonwalker in the sights. And Apache Brave now storming on by. Apache Brave gets the lead. And Apache Brave gets the money. Moonwalker for second, more royalty for third. Blackjack Baby finished fourth. Maybe Clift for fifth. Number seven, Apache Brave comes from off the pace and scores and gives jockey Edgar Zayas his second victory today. Owned by Maurice Miller, LLC, trained by Mickey Kroger. That horse paid $11.80 to win. Race number 10, five furlongs on the turf. Claim is three-year-olds and upward. Scratch the number 11, no meatball. And they're off. Pioneer Pete breaks well. So does Awesome My Way. And Awesome My Way is quicker. Pioneer Pete back to second. Moving up Polygram. Moving up wider is Some Roar. Early move from Some Roar to challenge for the lead. Now takes the lead. Some Roar. Now up by a length. Awesome My Way back to second. Polygram third. Tightly at the rail is Pioneer Pete. Stable for it is fifth. Biggest little city is going to need room. Bill's Passion is moving up. Towards the back, Spurs and Bows. Texas Rustler and the trailer. Bonsai Charge. They look like they went quick. Around that far turn, Bill's Passion has come all the way to take the lead. Some Roar is in between runners now, trying to re-rally up on the inside is Awesome My Way. Polygram trying to run on. It's been a fast pace, and it's Awesome My Way, and Some Roar with the lead. Pioneer Pete's trying to weave through traffic. Polygram, also Texas Rustler, just had to check off heels. Bill's Passion, biggest little city all closing. It's still Some Roar with the lead. Some Roar is going to try to find the wire. Awesome My Way, Pioneer Pete, and also Texas Rustler. It's Some Roar to give Holland another one. Texas Rustler runs on for second. Got tight for the Miners, but it's Some Roar. Number 10, Some Roar scores, pays $16.40 and gives owner Bruno Chickens Dance, trainer Yvonne Belsor, and jockey Daryl Holland their second victories together on today's card. In the pick five, five of five, $2,438.45, four of five, $35. In the pick six, six of six, $9,834. And the carryover going into Wednesday's card, $100,250.35. And that wraps up the Sunday card. We're dark for live racing on Monday and Tuesday, but we'll be back on Wednesday at Gulfstream Park West. We have an eight race card with our first race post at 1.15 p.m. Good night and good luck. Hit the hay. Hit the hay. I've been working all day. Hit the hay. Hit the hay. What do you say? Hit the hay. Hit the hay. Hit the hay. Hit the hay. Well, I'm tired. Let me tell you, Jack. I'm so tired Oh my aching back Let's hit the hay